Hello, welcome to this DCS A10C2 tutorial. In this video, I will be talking about the utilization of the LASTI system. LASTI stands for Low Altitude Safety and Targeting Enhancement, and this allows your aircraft to compensate for wind and temperature variations in the world around you to make your munition uh, dispensing that much more accurate. You may have noticed if you are ever out flying and trying to bomb a target in moderate to strong winds, your bomb may have fallen near the target, even if you were perfectly on it, but it did not actually impact. This will allow the aircraft to overcome things like that and your munitions being blown around. That applies to all unguided munitions. And it also applies to guided munitions utilizing the wind corrected munition dispensers. So if you have ever noticed during your weapon selection um, for the GPS guided cluster bombs, at the end it says with WCMD. That means it has a wind corrected munition dispenser. And this will allow the aircraft to try to compensate for the drop to prevent the bomblets from being blown off target. Very, very useful and powerful tool. To begin, we need to set you up with a spreadsheet and a calculator. Um, we need to do a little bit of background math before we can input information into the aircraft. I have a link to this in the description of this video. When you open the link, it will take you to a view only. I can't have people randomly editing this and ruining it for the rest of you. So in order to use this yourself, you're going to hit File, Download. I recommend downloading it as a Microsoft Excel. After you have downloaded it, you're going to open your own Google Drive, hit File, Import, and then import that file you downloaded. And now you have it available to you for editing. Once you have that all set up, I'll go ahead and open that here. We need to go into game and look at our weather information. So if we scroll all the way down our briefing, we have this section here devoted to weather. This is the information that we are interested in. The altitudes, the wind speeds, and the temperature. Also the wind direction. So we're going to go ahead and just input that into our um, little calculator sheet. So we can see here, it is altitude zero, which is ground here, one meter per second at one, two, two, already put it in one meter per second at one, two, two, 2000, 2003 at one, two, three, and so on. You just match up these values here into the calculator. Same with temperature. You just match up the temperature. And now this last field, magnetic variation, will depend on the mission map you're flying. So in the Caucasus, uh, you're going to use negative 7. This can vary depending on where you are in the world in game. But so these are middle ground accurate enough values, I find. If you're in Persian Gulf, you use negative 2. And if you're in Syria, you'll use positive 5. You want to get more precise with it, you can either figure out your magnetic variation using a variety of, variety of real-world methods in-game, or you can look up um, real-world air charts and figure it out. Just keep in mind it changes over time, so you need to figure out the magnetic variation for the year that your mission is set in. After we have all of this information punched in, it outputs this neat little table for us here. And this is what we're going to be inputting into the aircraft. In order to do that, we'll come down to our CDU. At this point, you should know where that is, down here on the side. We will hit this, lasty, wind. And now we have um, a table input. So you'll see down here we have altitude, wind, temperature, and here we have altitude, wind, temperature. So we're just going to match up the tables. We'll start with 
the altitude column, zero, zero, click, zero, one, the next one, zero, two, the next one. We're just matching these table values here with our in-game screen. Now you see we only have three fields, but we have five in the calculator. So we're going to hit the page and input the other two. So zero, seven and two, six. After that, we're going to press the wind edit button and it will bring us to wind and temperature input for the altitudes we just entered. So we'll start with zero, zero, two, nine, five, zero, two. You'll see it's the three digits slash two, and we're just gonna enter in all five digits here. So we'll go two, nine, five, zero, two, Click, 29504, same thing again, the next page, 29606, and 29608. Now we'll go back up a page and we'll worry about temperature. So 22, 20, 18. Next page, eight. And negative 30. So you'll notice when we enter it, it'll be positive. If we click the button again, it will just change it to negative. At this point, all of our setup is completely done. And now our aircraft is prepared to drop, um, accounting for the winds and the temperature variations around us. It takes some extra time. So I find myself only really doing this if there's extremely strong winds um, and I see inaccuracies in my bomber. But if you want to, you can take the time and do this and you'll be that much more accurate during the course of your mission. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.